the biggest single issue of all for the next decade, without doubt, will be global warming, whether you agree with the science or whether you don't. And here you have, as a telco, an extraordinary opportunity. So much of what you do saves energy because you stop people from traveling. You make people efficient. And actually, so little of what you do consumes power because electronics doesn't need much compared to a plane. It would be very easy for you to become a totally carbon neutral company. I flew here on water power. My computer at the back there is running on wind power right now. And you say, how can this be? Because I worked out at the beginning of this year how many times I would fly to South Africa, China, India, Malaysia, Russia. I worked out how many tons of carbon I would use, also in taking a bath, in having a, a cooked meal, uh, in uh, the, the clothes that I clean, uh, my, and how much carbon my children would use. And then we invested an amount of money in hydroelectric schemes in a developing environment to convert something that wasn't commercially viable into something that really worked. And as that dam starts to produce electricity for a small community, those people stop burning carbon, and we make a saving somewhere else in the world, which exactly balances the carbon that I use. You are already seeing the first world's first carbon airline has started to launch. See, all our flights are water-powered. There is the first carbon neutral bank, HSBC. You have the opportunity, I think, if you wish, at almost zero cost, to become the first carbon neutral phone company, which is actually, we offset all of the energy we use everywhere in the world, including flying to conferences. It wouldn't be difficult to do. It would be fun. It would raise an issue. It shows that you're being corporately responsible and the cost issue would be almost nothing. For, in fact, on a cost of a flight to go from here to London, the cost is only $10 to make it neutral. 